Shane, do the John Travolta with me. Woo! What movie does that remind you of, Jane? Um, Flashdance. Oh, no, no. Come on, John Travolta. John Travolta. I guess it does, both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it's this is John Travolta in Saturday Night Live. Remember that? Back in the days with the Bee Gees? Night Fever. Saturday Night Fever. Yes, yeah, right. Yes. Yes, it takes a team to get all this stuff right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to our Facebook Live. Today is Friday, May 19th. And we have Jane Razzle Dazzle Esselstyn as my guest. And we may, just may, have a special guest that may be showing up. Uh, if she can break free. Oh, she did I blow it? She, he, uh, it, hey. they, the, they, them can break free. <laughs> exactly right. So Jane, it looks like you and I both have our sunglasses on our heads today. What's, yeah. going, what's going on with that? Well, I just got back from a run. So I'm all, my hair is so sweaty and gross. I was just like, I'm just going to leave it up there. Um, because, uh, you know, it keeps, brings a little sunshine into the room for our summer session right now. Yes. And I think that this, this summer is going to be so bright that we got to wear shades, right? I mean, this is going to be a fantastic 2023 summer of plan strong goodness. Jane, Jane, what have you already done today? I want to hear about your day. I got up and did some work for some things coming up in my schedule. And then I, um, I've been working on crafting a sort of a, I really like some mores in the summer and mm. I'm crafting kind of a graham crackery cook. It's a cookie. Cause it, a cra I mean, I think it's called a graham cracker cause you can crack, um, snap them, you know, you can crack them. Actually, I don't know what makes a cookie in a cracker, but I'm trying to make a graham cracker like a cookie. So I'm working on that. And I did this great kind of yoga that our sister-in-law Polly is an, um, sort of uh, made me oh, aware of, and it's called Katona yoga. And it's like nothing else. I'm loving it. Well, wait, 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 wait. Can I, can we backtrack for a sec? I want to, I want to talk to you about two things you just said. First is you mentioned a cracker. So why are you trying to cre develop, create a, 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 a cracker, a graham type cracker? For s'mores. Because, because s'mores, graham crackers are kind of full of stuff that we don't, you know, not only on the plant strong plan. So I'm trying to make a version that will be great to use um, at my event coming up. But uh, it's, it's just a really exciting, uh, I've got three different versions going and one's too thin, one's too thick. And one I think is just right. Well, what are, can you tell me what are some of the ingredients you have in there? Uh, they're all, they're kind of shift shifting. So, um, uh, oh. I'd say, oh, we had a spill, um, <laughs> um, oat flour and some baking soda or baking powder. That's one of the things I'm trying to figure out. And a little bit of maybe a hint of ginger, maybe not some molasses, maple syrup, maybe not. Like it's kind of, it's in the testing phase. It's in the testing phase. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, all right, good beta phase. So you mentioned, so I've been getting into yoga again. I, I have found that my body desperately needs that elasticity and that youthfulness back in it, especially, <laughs> especially as I've been dancing. no, especially Jane is I have been doing so much pickleball. I have found that my legs, holy Toledo, look at you go. That my legs just are, um, are needing it. The strengthening, the stretching, all that. So what is this yoga that you're so fascinated about? Um, it's called, uh, Katona yoga. K A. A yeah. K actually, that's what's a K Katona. And I don't, I'm not going to speak to it to, to, to say that I, <laughs> that I know anything um, more about it. Cause I'm really learning, but our sister-in-law, Polly Labar loves it, swears by it. And <clears throat> I, it's fascinating. Like everything kind of your whole body fits inside your whole body in this beautiful way. And it just, it's so much to do with your core and, and moving, um, and everything supports it, everything else. It, I, well, I want to, to say no more cause I don't know a lot about it. Okay. But okay. It, but is it flowing? Is it flowing motions or no? Oh yeah, I mean it's yoga. It's yoga. Well, I know, but there's some yogas where all you do is breathe. Some where you meditate. Some where you obviously. Actually, I, I don't know. Is it, I want. I don't know the right tradition to speak of it. Uh, hatha yoga. It's a. It's not uh, a, a super flow, but it's a. You're. We're. You know. We flowed and moved and 
Right. I mean, I loved it. So not a vinyasa, though. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bodhisattva. I'm not on top of all <laughs> I just uh what's the what's the what's the pose you do at the end where you get to go to sleep? The Shavasana? Uh, uh, Shavasana. Shavasana. That is that is a pose that I can rock. <laughs> I know that when I was a parent of young kids, I was like, I want to have a Shavasana class. Like oh. I, there are so many friends sign up and just <sighs> no, my Shavasana and my child's pose are like all-star world-class <laughs> truly yeah. truly hey is that special guest arrived yeah uh, me and brian <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, two people just arrived and oh, this, wow. this one just arrived i think what we're going to see first is oh, her foot oh my gosh it is a very flexible leg that looks like a, a 12 year old's foot <laughs> oh my god it's ann Kyle Esselstyn in the flesh. Woo! Hey everybody, can you give us a heart in the in the comment section for Ann Kyle Esselstyn, our special guest? Hey Ann, <laughs> Ann, where? Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, Ann, where did you just race over from? Next door. I know, but what were you doing now over there next door? Well, I just learned that you want us to make something, and so I went to get something to make. No, 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 you got an extra ingredient. I got it. I got my sprouts. I grow broccoli sprouts and I got some. Oh, you do? Fantastic. No, but what were you doing over at Two Pepper Ridge Road just now? We had a Fine. seminar. With oh, minor okay. Minor seminars, which, which is a five hours of education around preventing and reversing of heart disease through whole food plant based nutrition. If anyone's and, interested, uh, you can try to uh, contact. Yeah. And so, uh, Ann, Ann. Just so for people that are wondering, this is something that you and Essie put on the last Friday of every month. Is that right? Or how does that work? Ish, uh, no, ish. it's once a month. Once a month. Yeah. Got it. Got it. All right. Well, fantastic. We're skipping to live when you are going to be with us at the farm. I cannot wait. Um, all right. So everybody, <clears throat> everybody, I have... Ask Jane and Ann to just help us with a couple simple summer. I wouldn't even call them dishes. Some of these are dishes, but some of these are just snacks. Some of them are just, you know, you know, just for, for nibbling, just to have on the table uh, all day long. So Jane, do you want to, you want to kick it off? Sure. Should we start with our um, kind of our, our cool main, a main dish kind of thing? I think, <laughs> I think so. I think we're going to start it with, um, not a main dish, but a, what's that? Yeah, can you tilt it, the screen down when you're going to show us the, the food? Okay, we're going to do, um, this is from our new book, which is called Be a Plant-Based Woman Warrior. Live fierce, stay bold, eat delicious. And this is something my mom mastered, and it's called a corn, sorry, yes, corn gazpacho. And I'm Wait. Sure Wait a second. Yeah. And Jane, Jane, is that a is that a three ring spiral book? That's amazing. It's the way to go. I no trashed all of our cookbooks. So this is the best. This is the wait, wait. So if you if I was to buy that on Amazon, is that how it would come? Yeah. No, you no. have to order a spiral. It costs a little bit more, but not that much. And it's such but but you can order a spiral on Amazon? Yeah. You can probably do it with lots of books. I think books that that where there's a request for it. So we're gonna go going with the gazpacho, and the gazpacho has takes one cucumber, and you throw it right in. If you want to break it up, it's great because these steel blades do a great job. Oh, nice! But really, you add in three ears of summer sweet corn. But since it's uh, May here, and there's not sweet corn. Wait, wait, wait. When you say three, oh, okay. I thought you were putting the whole corn and the cob in there. So it's and just. You would, you would chop off and get okay. all that juice okay. off. Of. So instead of that, we're going to put, this is this is um, organic sweet white corn. Hey, because Ann, Ann, Jane, why not do a roasted frozen corn? Do you not like the roasted? Or gazpacho, well, you different could. flavor profile. It's not roasted. Well, it might be no, interesting. No. I, well, I, would I think find it, it would. <laughs> Sorry, I'm taller than you. <laughs> Maybe you have to get the food. Oh. Yeah, you got to get the food. Hey, who is controlling the audio video over there? Well, I'm trying to, but my. All right, and here is one orange bell pepper. Just putting that in, tearing it up because, and then here is half of a sweet onion. 
Mm -hmm. half. Yep. Woo! There it goes. What else, Jane? I and think. then two pinches of red pepper flakes. Um, My hands are wet. Two, and then two to three tablespoons of red wine vinegar. This looks incredible. Um, well, it's so fresh. It's so fresh and summery. And Jane, where yeah. did you guys get this recipe from? Nowhere. It's a great story, and you tell it. All right, can you can you make the screen uh, uh, so that Anne can see it before she whizzes it up? Um, uh, <laughs> we have a great friend, family friend um, of oh, yours and ours, Elizabeth Thornton, who lives in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and she is right in the heart of all of New Mexico. It's so great, and or in Santa Fe, and she said. And I'll give you this recipe if you do this something for me. So it was this total tit for tat kind of thing. <laughs> what did she want from you? She wanted. Oh, that's what I can't remember. But anyway, she, she um, sent this. Um, so she sent this recipe and it's been awesome. It's been it's been a, a hit, total hit. Hey, J hey, Jane, Jeannie Perkins just joined. She wants to know what you're making. <laughs> Corn gazpacho, Jeannie. You love it. <laughs> Woo! thing is that I happen to have this open and this is sweet corn broth. It has oh. by Plant Strong and this, if you needed to uh, wet this down, this would be good. And are we needing to wet this? We well, the problem is that we didn't have time to thaw the corn. Our so corn is not thawed. So ours is, we're not making gazpacho. We're making a corn smoothie. It looks oh, like. nice. Nice. <laughs> well, you know what, Jane? We're gonna add a little broth to uh, make it make it wet. Maybe. Yeah, wet. yeah, yeah. Hey, and you know what's a good idea? Um, Di Diamond T Bar says that uh, this Texan would have to sub hot peppers for the bell peppers. That would that would be good that, to that me. Would be good. That would be good. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah. that would be a good hot bell peppers instead of red peppers would be an interesting twist. Ours is so frozen. Half our orange pepper isn't so, ground up yet. You know yet. what? We'll let this thaw a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Let's come back to that in a little bit. Okay, I tell you, this is great. And then, Anne, Anne, you know that I'm not a huge fan of uh, cold soups. No, I, I, I don't pay any attention to that. <laughs> Rip, because yeah. they're good. Uh, I believe you. I believe you. I can't wait to try them this summer. <laughs> okay, I'm, that's I'm, all you're going to get to eat <laughs> cold soups. Yeah. The, the, and the, not only that, but cold soup and eggplant. Yes, you love me. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of zucchini. Oh, sorry. good. Grilled zucchini. <laughs> nice. Okay, it's looking really good. The reason I want to keep running it a little bit is that when it comes out into a bowl, if you give a bowl, in a bowl, it looks really pretty. And we just put the way you serve it, The way you serve it is with a cherry tomato on top and a little crack of black pepper. So I wanted to do to do that just so we could move on from this one and on to our next summer summer treat. Fantastic. Hey, hey Jane, what tell me a little bit about that shirt you're wearing? It looks like it's kind of a nice summer short sleeve shirt. Yeah. Here's a crack of, of black pepper. Okay. Mommy, can you give it a taste and see if it's kind of the right? Channel? I think it's probably kind of cold. Yeah, it's a like corn. Oh my I, God. It's like a corn smoothie. I think all those ingredients you have in there are incredible. It's fresh. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yum. Okay. Nice. This is positivity begets positivity begets positivity begets positivity. I, it, yeah. I was running in it. It's smelly. Where? You, so Jane, you just got back from a run. Where? Where did you? Uh, not where, but how long did you run for? I was out. I don't. I don't know. How, I don't wear. Couple don't, hours. No, yes. no. 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 I think I was out for like an hour and a bit. But Jane. But Jane. How often? How often? Knew about what we're doing today. Um, you know, getting ourselves dialed in. So it wasn't all like ho, 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 the whole time. Yeah, yeah. But how long? How how often are you running? I, I run probably most days of the week. Wow. Is that your form? <laughs> Sometimes I walk and do a little run, and I've got I got my phone. And I have office hours. I you know it's not I'm not a serious runner. So Lisa says if you if you keep blending, you can make corn butter. I've never heard of that. Have you? I think oh. in a Vitamix where it's a little more um, like warms it up. Yeah, yeah. 
But that would be amazing to just get it all just down to nothing. Okay, we're gonna do a couple other things with this. We're gonna do a couple other things with you guys. And I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep blending, even though it's so loud and irritating, but I'm gonna blend it down. Um okay, so one of my favorite things that my mom makes in, in this book, summer sandwich wise, are her open face sandwiches. I know Rip loves them, Brian loves, loves them. Loves, loves them. <laughs> Loves them. And she's got a really cool one that has its open face, but it has a secret lid on top. You'll see what it's all about. Here we go. Really? Yeah. Mommy, what do you, what, they can only see your hands. So let's go. All oh, right. Is that, what was that? That's a, that's secret, isn't it? This is the bread and this is. Nope. Now, Ann, that's typically not the bread that you usually use Messenmaka, right? Often, but this is, um, Okay. I got back from a run. That's all I had. Sorry. Got this it. Is, got it. This is Dave's. Uh, I loved it. Dave's bread. Dave's killer bread. Killer so, bread. yeah. And Jane, and do you uh, do you usually uh, put that bread in the toaster for a little bit? Yeah. yeah. But but today, since this is very last minute, um, it's not. But it's just as good. Then right. yeah. so I'm here. I'm going to put some green onions. Jeez, Jane, you really got organized. Oh, yeah. And, and, and you don't, you are not shy with the green onions, are you? Oh, my God. No. <laughs> no she's not. And, and actually, I would also put chives because we have them in abundance in our garden. But the problem is that um, I, I didn't know about it ahead. And she then, was busy with the five hour conflict. Yeah. yeah. Then I am going to put on next some broccoli sprouts that I just brought over from our house. Do you want to chop yeah. that? Is that, a, Jane, is that a cucumber, Jane? Yeah. Sorry. Could you not see it? Yeah. No, I can. I just didn't know if it was a zucchini or a, you know. Here are, the, eggplant. Here are some of my broccoli sprouts. And I am just going to put them. I mean, you know what? You got to have sprouts. And I have a jar. I mean, this is just one tenth of the jar, and it takes two tablespoons of broccoli seeds, and you get all of this. Do you have lemon, Jane? We can get lemon, and, yeah. And then um, it's nice right now to put in a little lemon. And uh, I could put in a, I could, I don't have to. I could put in a little slice of tomato. What? Oh, that is that is that a uh, summer heirloom tomato? No, it's just something that Jane, I guess, had here. Her. Here, I'm putting lemon on the sprouts. Is that right? Yeah. You oh, lemon Jane, up. that's a great squeezer. It is. It is. It's a citrus. It's a citrus press. Wow. Do you, guys prefer, do, lime. You guys, do you guys prefer lemon or lime? Oh, um, it depends on the dish, of course. Yeah. All right. I got you some mustard, mommy. Oh, then on the back side of the cucumbers so that we've sliced, we'll see a little see, kiss. We're putting here. Where's a little here, knife? Here, just put that. I'm just gonna squeeze it on. Oh my gosh! Are, are those? Are you putting little dollops of mustard on each cucumber? Yeah, yeah always. It's, all those dollops. And and oh you have never done that for me in the past. That's a new oh, move. Always, always, always. Dollop, little cucumber. Behind the scenes, love. Behind Jane, the we scenes. We need more cucumbers. We need more cucumbers. Behind the scenes, love. Come on. And, oh. And we actually need. Um, this bread is so big. We need more cucumbers. I know you're you're doing a great job. All right. Well, we'll stop there. Uh -huh. oh, and yeah. then a little lemon uh, like on top. Mm, yeah. More lemon. And then this is the fun thing. Lemon on each layer. Now. Lemon on each layer. Yeah. It makes it alive. And now. Oh, is that a, is that a Brayburn? What is that? A Fuji? It's an apple. Whatever apple you want. <laughs> it's an apple. It, it, it might be a honey crisp, but who knows? No, it's a, I'm going to put a little lemon pepper right here. And that to me is the magic touch when you do that lemon pepper. Yeah. I think it's a pink lady. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, not not my favorite. It'll do. It'll do, pig. It'll do. <laughs> there It'll you go. Do. And then on top of that, we need a little lemon. Oh, my gosh. Keeps it from Acid getting queen. brown. Acid queen. Now. And more lemon juice and lemon pepper. Your sandwich is filled with flavor. No, it, it, it really is. And I want everybody to know that, you know, 
if you if you do open face sandwiches the way Ann and Jane are doing it right now, you will never ever get tired of these in the summer. And look at how Jane's cutting them up. Jane, so you get four little squares, right? Mm. Oh. Mm. Wow. She uh, my Anne's is, this is her famous sandwich, and she's can you see her over here cutting them? She's off camera. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, so so look at hey what that Ann and Jane, that is incredible. Have you guys ever heard of a cosmic crisp apple? Yes, I just saw those. Are they good? I've never heard of them, but Barbara, I think, likes them. Mm -hmm. um, somebody's asking me my favorite apple. So that would be the, um, well, depends. Some, sometimes it's the macoon, which comes from New York in the summertime. Otherwise, what's the one, Jane, from New Zealand that I love so much? Oh, I'm totally spacing on the name of it. Uh, it's from New Zealand. It's, uh, Honey crisp? No, 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 no. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. Thanks for asking Misty. All right. Um, Jane and Ann, I want you to know that we're going to take a quick little commercial break because I want you to know that this episode of the plan strong Facebook live is sponsored to you by our new chilies and stews. We got five of them. We have a Chunky Chipotle. We have a spicy Cajun Jambalaya. We have a sweet and smoky. We have a black bean. How is that? And then we have a spiced lentil. Carrie, if you could pull it up, that would be wonderful. And this right here, I want you to know, this is uh, a, let me find my... Uh, <laughs> Uh-oh, are we there? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> this is uh, got three different lentils. You have a black beluga. You have a red. You have a brown. You have chickpeas, 17 different herbs and spices, and it has a depth of flavor that is insane. 20 grams of protein per container, 17 grams of fiber. It's awesome. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's our little commercial break. Now back to Jane and Ann. <laughs> I went to order some yesterday. And yeah. I to order the, all the different new ones. And then I wanted to get some of your cereal and your cereal was all sold out. Yeah, no, I, we have, we have an issue. Our manufacturer is located in an area of California. They're there. Um, where the, uh, the levee broke and the oh. factory flooded. And oh so God. we will be out of cereal for about another th three weeks and then we'll have new cereal. That's, that's awful. That's sad uh, for everyone. Well, yeah. And, and this is like <clears throat> a type of flood they haven't had there in this part of Northern California, a little bit nor uh, north of Santa Cruz. They haven't had a flood like this in 60 years. Well, Rip, it must leave you destitute because I can't imagine your breakfast without your cereal. No, it's, it's been ugly. It's definitely been ugly. <laughs> All right, should we move on to our next thing or what, what do you want to go? Where do you want to go, Rip? Let's let's go. Let's go. Next thing. We love making, um, we eat just food, food, food. But when it's summer and all those greens are fresh, we love to make all kinds of great salads. I'm going to make one that is kind of similar to a salad that we have in our cookbook, which is called Be a Plant-Based Woman Warrior, Live Fierce, Stay Bold, Eat Delicious. <laughs> um, this <laughs> This is this is the the woman warrior uh, salad or Wonder Woman salad, um, but it's not the exact thing. But what we do is what I love is we take this is a Napa part of a Napa cabbage. Ooh yeah, it comes like a huge. It's, like a, it's a small child the size of when you get it. So it's been cut <laughs> in half and it's been cut in half. But what's so cool about it is it just chops it over here. However you want to do it, just chop it, chop it, chop it, and it's it's crunchy, it's crispy, <laughs> raw. You can eat it cooked. It's just such a good crispy addition to your salad but what is what's so cool is that it's done when it's chopped yeah so you just chop sorry not <laughs> okay and in it goes in it goes and then the next thing you could do is you take a head of romaine and a head of romaine um if the outside layers don't look good do not be distressed because you just take those wimpy layers off and or those rotten layers off and inside it's pearly fresh oh so you hey jane Jane, I, I remember now my favorite apple in the whole wide world. 
when it is available and is the it's called the Pacific Rose. Mm. Oh, it's so incredible. So incredible. Thank you, Misty. <laughs> so here's here's the end of the romaine. You cut the little bit off so it's a little bit moist there on the tippy tip, and you can plant it, and new romaine will grow from that. So put it in your garden, put it in your windowsill. Just don't throw it away. You can make your own. So same thing with our romaine here. Just chop, chop, chop. Um, and romaine is one of the healthiest of the lettuces. Just with Jane, all the Barbara says that all of her next week's meals will be coming out of your cookbook. It's fabulous with lots of variety, but easy enough to make me successful. Oh, <laughs> and these are little wee cucumbers. Thank you very much for that um, support and nice compliment. So cucumbers, this is a wee, I like the little wee cucumbers because they keep the skin on them. You get more skin per bite than the big cucumbers. So a little more fiber, a little more yum yum, all that good stuff. And the skin of everything is so important. We eat the hide around here. <laughs> okay. And I also love fennel in the summer when it's around. And what is, I know, bizarre, but I love the fronds the most. Like the little fronny thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sweet. They're like really oddly sweet. I mean, I will walk around the supermarket like this, kind of like, mm, 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 mm. I love it. Can I cut these in here? Yeah. And I like to just, I actually use all this in a salad. I just chop, 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 chop. And it has this great little fennel taste. Um, I didn't love the taste of fennel forever, but then there's kind of such a fresh sweetness and the, and the fiber in things like onions leeks uh, fennel like just it's the ancient fiber you know the dinosaurs ate this stuff and it is well, just but, well if it's good enough for the dinosaurs it's good enough for us ah exactly so in a bunch of this stuff goes into our salad again this is not exactly in our cookbook but yeah i put some and got some cherry tomatoes she's gonna put in there i cut in half Jane, Jane, are you going to make all this? I mean, eat all this stuff today? Yeah. Guess who's coming for dinner? Uh, let me guess. Uh, John Collis. You are half right. <laughs> half right. Oh. I'm still standing. Oh, John Schloss. <laughs> <laughs> Close. I know. John Fitzgerald. That's awesome. Yes. And yes. then I, I, the I, like, I put blueberries in like mad because blueberries at a wonderful... Uh, you know, all the colorful, the color. all can the can you, can you their color. It's so beautiful. But also blueberries have are great with vitamin C. And if you eat vitamin C with your meal, in your meal, it mobilizes iron in your blood, which we know people always say you're anemic. We're the farthest thing from anemic. So, and here goes um some, uh, all of it. Scallions. That, I'm being pretty about it, mommy. Those She's are, like, are oh, those man. green onions? Sorry, they're green onions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. scallions, green onions. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you want to call it. And now, I would have some of mommy's sprouts in there, but she put them all in the sandwich. No, I didn't. Now the key to me, Jane, is what are you going to do for a dressing? Well, I'm, I'm almost done, but I wanted to show you a trick. This morning, I took this little bit of, of celery that was like, it was like rubber. I mean, it was like, rawr, rawr, rawr. Yeah. In our, I cut the end, the bottom, and I put it in this little glass of water. Incredible. And now, now look at that. It is. It's like, it's like new, bro, uh, new celery. This celery, just it was like giving it Viagra. It was all it needed. Incredible. Wow. I wonder if it's, it's a right. celery Viagra move. Yeah, you can you can plant that and and okay. Um so in yeah. that goes, I mean you can put everything you can, want in your salads, and the more crunch and distraction and then what she puts on the very top after you've dressed it. I'll put some to toasted, toasted uh, pepitas or maybe some toasted walnuts. The dressing we have tonight, I already made, I feel badly ripped. Um but I made this is this dressing. I make them when I make dressings, I make them like you know, two, three times. Yeah, the, nice. And this is called the baritone dressing. And it, it I'm speaking to me. <laughs> it's this is a baritone dressing, and it's in our new cookbook, and it has become our favorite. And, really? Yeah. And it if you don't, if you want to go with the classic, like three, two, one, three tablespoons of uh, vinegar, two tablespoons of mustard, one tablespoon of maple syrup, that's great. The vinegar has to be sort of one of those. Vinegars from a vinegar store because you know your vinegar from Costco is going to be too acidic. But um, if you don't want to go with that, if you're if you're open to having maybe a little tahini in a dressing, that's what baritone has in it, and it is addictive. Addictive. <laughs> I mean, I want to hang an IV and just let it run. Tell what's in it. Um, a whole bunch of good stuff. I can't, I can't remember everything that's in it. 
Um, well, well, so we have a couple more things. Yeah. So Jane, uh, is that the, is that the salad? That's our salad. All right, Jane, We're let me give you guys a break. Let me give yeah. you guys a break. And what I'm going to show you guys now is, so I absolutely adore mangoes and we probably go through close to, I don't know, 40 mangoes a week. No joke, especially when they're in season. And so I want to show you how I eat my mango, especially in the summertime when I know I'm going to be in a swimming pool or taking a shower sometime soon, because this can get pretty sloppy. You want to put that slop in the pool? No. So, oh yeah. And I don't mind. So yeah. this is a champagne mango, right? So yeah. what I do, and I'm going to try and is I just start to peel it. Okay. Oh I just peel it like so. It's starting wow. to peel. I'm just peeling the skin off of it. And it's going to, this is probably going to take me about, oh, I don't know, 40 seconds maybe to peel it. Um, I'm peeling it now because it's dripping. And I am done in five, four, three, two, one. There you go. Can you guys? So now what you have is just a dripping mango the seed is in there and then i just do this oh you eat it right around the slurpee you eat it right around this the the pit right around the pit it's absolutely amazing but it is so absolutely messy it absolutely is savage but it is the most yeah savage uh, apocalypse now way of eating your mango ever <laughs> Well, mm. Rip, All right. I do mangoes. I I cut one of the cheeks and I score it and I go around the outside. But then, unlike I don't take a knife, I take a tovalo so I can get every single bit of mango mm -hmm. off the skin. And this gets more mango off of a mango than anything ever. <laughs> okay. Rip. So, Jane, Jane. Speaking of fruit. Jane, Jane, I'm going to pass it back over to you, all right? See, there's my napkin. I'm all good. I'm clean. <laughs> no no rinse in a pool required. <laughs> We're dunking the swimming in the shower. Oh, my yeah. God. All yes. right. So, um, something that we love to have um, as a snack and we is a watermelon. And when you find a watermelon, you're going to want to find a watermelon that has a lighter spot, a yellow spot. That means it grew up on the ground. And you're going to want, okay. and you're going to want to also have um, some scratch marks on it. That means that something like a bee tried to get into it because it's a sweet one. Mm. And you want to have it sound like you're knocking on a floor. Um, so what we do is we, if we buy a watermelon, it'll sit on the ground, it'll sit on the table until literally one one day. Um, we shoot YouTube videos. One day our YouTube guy came in. He's like, Jane, I came in, but I came in the side door and I had to tip over the water that spilled. And I was like, water, there's no water. We couldn't figure out how there's water all over the floor, but no one had eaten the watermelon for so long. Cause no one cut it open and chopped it into squares and put it out for everyone to eat. It sat there and it internally fermented. It blew up in the middle of the night and it dripped all over the floor and the table. So you have to, <laughs> you have to cut your watermelon or no one's going to eat it. That's called choice architecture. Ah. Make it edible. So here we go. This is how we do it. We chop it in. This it is how we do it. <laughs> this is how we do it. Come okay. on, Carrie, tee up the music. This is how we do it. <laughs> so here's our watermelon and we're going to just um, do half of it right now. So, um, Oh yeah, that, that looks, <laughs> this looks seedless to me. Yeah. There you go, Carrie. <laughs> Thank you. I like yeah. it. Yeah, but behind the scenes, making it happen. So it we take our watermelon and chop it into just squares and get it into this little bin or yeah. whatever you're doing. And what's what's so great about oh here's a little seed. We got one seed. Wow. It's so funny how seed, I mean, we love seeds growing up. Remember the games we used to play? 
putting it, put them on your forehead. So you, you I would marry. Yeah, you name all the seeds on your forehead, and then whoever dropped off last, you were going to marry. Wow. So Justin can't keep fruit long enough in the house. Her husband eats it all. She's lucky if she gets any. Wow. How about that? <laughs> okay. And <clears throat> anyway, so you pop it up. And then the key for us, besides dropping it in squares like this, so it can just pop in your mouth, is yeah. we have to put lime on it. Oh, Jane, you are like, this is like the drum roll. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Hey, blind guy, his wife, and their life says this episode just keeps getting gooder. <laughs> All right. So this is this yeah. putting lime on watermelon. It makes it go from being like, oh, I guess I'll have some to like, is this a five-star restaurant? <laughs> Jane, and I want to add that this doesn't only elevate watermelon. It elevates cantaloupe, honeydew, apples, you name it right? This isn't just a watermelon trick. No, it's amazing. We and, love lime on our watermelon, lemon on our sandwiches. Now I got to say, Jane and Ann, that I was taught this trick probably 20 years ago by a friend of mine named Paul Koningsman, an mm -hmm. old triathlete friend. And it has been a game changer when we have watermelon in our home. Definitely. How Maybe. did you, how did you learn about it? We learned about it I mean, I, it's over and over and over again. But finally, when we had our most recent cookbook, I'm like, you know what? Let's just make this a recipe. So suddenly the fact that it's a recipe, we're talking about it more. We, we've done it forever. I mean, you've done it for two decades. Yeah. Oh, look at this. So people are chiming in. Lime on papaya, right? Lime on apples. Wow. We Lime like it. on sweet potato. Ooh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that, are you making that up? No. Rip, Rip that's your recipe. That's your recipe. Lime on sweet potato? Remember sweet potato with, with black, black beans, beans and mango? Oh, yeah. You know, that's a sweet potato bowl. I'm just talking like, you know, standalone all by itself. I'll try it along. Yeah. Well, how about lime on grapes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at See? K Katie Kotick. What a great name. Katie Kotick. KK. We like the alliteration, don't we, Ann? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and, uh and then we look at, we got, we got Palma who's even watching from Italy. So you guys, you guys throw in, throw in some questions for Ann and Jane before we, uh, we got to leave here. Uh, here, here's a question. What kind of knife is Jane using for that watermelon? Is that a Cutco? Oh, no, no. No. What is it? I can't speak that language. Oh, okay. It's a language you don't speak. Okay. Um, but, but, oh, no, here it's, um, Shun, S H U N. Jane. Shun. I think it's a left handed knife. Polly, yoga Polly gave it to me. <laughs> wow. Jane, Jane, you mentioned that you're, you're, you got something like in the schedule in a couple of weeks that you wanted to share with everybody. What is it that you've got? Oh, oh yeah. the, the reason I was making, working on the, some more, the reason I was working on the um, graham cracker like cookies because we have some more at camp. It's called Well Now Camp. Well Now. Well now, well, <laughs> well now, well now, um, and it's for camp for plant-based women warriors. And if all goes well, it'll be a camp for plant-based women warriors and women men. What am I trying to say? Well, are you going to have men? <laughs> Maybe one day or however you identify. Um, but right now it's plant-based women warriors for those who want to join us. It's just a long weekend and end of June, June 22nd, 25th. And is there live. It's the only live event she's doing lately. And it's, it's amazing. Food. So it's great, and so food. much fun. And it's, oh my god, and Jane, some has, you have got some of the most stunning people helping you. Oh, the yeah, who you? arts and crafts class, you never want to leave. And wow. we have do you, is, you, are, you never want to go to, but you end up loving it and you find your new self. Are you are you having Kristen Turner again or not? Kristen has a conflict this year, but we are we yeah. have all kinds of of uh, great plant-based pals who join us. And and Jane, where where does it take place? In uh in in, think... in the middle of Ohio. I know it doesn't sound like Not a destination. Not too far from Columbus. The Canyon College campus. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And they've dialed in all the meals for us over the years. So they just nail it. I mean they know we're coming. They love it and they actually serve what's so actually what's so telling is that there's all kinds of swim camps that are there. Mm -hmm. They have a camp for um, 
of different, all these different, you know, youth groups and whatnot. But they always take us when they don't have a lot of people around. But we had a swim camp there and all these little kids were drawn to the food that is on our section of the cafeteria because it looks so good and so beautiful. And I was like, oh, I kind of want these kids to have this and not like the reheated tater tots and fish sticks or whatever, whatever was happening over there. They all were so drawn to, I think, because it's the colors and the freshness. So anyway, I, I, I love that we have great food and that they do that for us. Um, and it's a ton of fun. Yeah. And uh, Jane, where can people go to find out more? JaneEsselston.com. Oh, okay. Great. Hey, blind guy, his wife and their life says, my question is if Ann knows she's the favorite, I love the way she tastes food at any temperature. <laughs> you're, you're their favorite. And you're the favorite. You're the favorite. No, you're... that's true. No, it's Jane, unanimously Jane across the board. Let me just say that this amazing thing, the amazing thing about this apple lidded sandwich, <laughs> you won't believe the taste that the apple gives a sweetness that is you you wouldn't think that it would could happen mm -hmm. that it would change a sandwich that isn't otherwise good is suddenly good. I would think, Ann, that it's also the uh, the texture, the crunchiness of it. Yeah. Well, that, but it's the appleness of it. <laughs> it's the appleness of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, speaking of apple, you guys are the apples of my eye. Oh. <laughs> Um, Jane and Ann, this has been absolutely spectacular. I want to thank you for joining me on another Facebook live, um, summer, summer edition. I hope you all have been inspired to. Yes, Jane. <laughs> I was saying, thank you. Oh, Chris, oh, you are the apple of our eye, the watermelon of our hearts. <laughs> Uh, the man of our dreams. The mango of our dreams. Mango of our dreams. The man go. Mango. Yes, indeed. All right. Um, all right. Anna Jane, love you. Have a great weekend and uh, talk to you soon. All right. Please tell that blind man that we love him. <laughs> well, I'm not sure who, who he is or what he's about, but he sure is funny. <laughs> all right. Hey, Jane and Ann. Little plant strong fist bump on the way out. Boom. With a little apple lidded sandwich in it. All right. Bye. <laughs>